Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive play. That's a catchphrase for coaches all over the country, and both of these teams are certainly capable of getting them in bunches. They love to throw the football down the field, so you better buckle up, and the secondaries better buckle those chin straps. They're in for a long day. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. exciting college football contest that's coming up. It's time for the coin toss now. Presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste. Zero calories. Enjoy everything. Andrew is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He'll return it from the six. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. Houston's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he's tackled at about to 31. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 47. Willis has got to forget about all the distractions, and that includes talking about winning awards. And in talking to him, he seems like a pretty focused, driven guy, and I think he's all about team. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. They'll spread the field with five wide. Six-yard line. It's third down. Looks middle. Got his back. He tackles him for a loss. Three-yard loss there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Fourth down. Green to punt. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 23. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He's brought down in the open field. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Second and five. 
When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 49. That makes it second and ten. Tight end right. Tight end right. Two down, two down. Shut it in. 580. He makes it to the 48-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. Fielded at the 19. Tackle at the 25-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. There's a strike complete. He's down. wide they'll bring him down at the 28 that's a loss of three yards on the play that'll bring up third and six from their own 28 yard line it's third down let's go Scrambling around. Tackle the 39 yard line. is having receivers that can make plays. He scrambled. And they make the stop, the 36-yard line. That makes it second and two. job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at the 21. That brings up second and one. Knocked away, incomplete. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. This is the ninth play of this drive. Big play, and it's first and goal. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. And he's shoved out of bounds just outside the goal line.
we played one quarter. No score here. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. He's on the run, and they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. That brings up third and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. With the pass incomplete. Houston could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Somebody is going to get fried. SMU and TCU in the battle for the iron skillet. And for TCU, they're looking to win two in a row. Underwood, a wide receiver's coach's dream with those Velcro hands of his. He scored a touchdown. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Williams fields it at the three. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. First down. Forward to about the 49. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. shake the defense so close but they fall short on the first down you got to throw the ball a little deeper next time don't take any chances of coming up short Woodard he'd like to change field position with this punt this punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Houston holds a field goal lead. Now he tries to buy some time. And they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That'll bring up fourth and 13.
Green is the punter. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws complete. He stopped immediately. He has some room. Makes it to the 27. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Throws it. Fires in there. Got it. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Getting a little bit hot in that iron skillet as SMU and TCU square off. Let's take a look at this one again. Here's a rivalry that is flat out nasty. TCU has the edge, 21 to seven. All right, Reese, back to our game. Baylor is lining up to kick this one off. Lee from the three. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. A really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around with the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think uh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. to the receiver and he's tackled around the 39 yard line and for bowling he's up to a thousand yards and catches for the year well it's easy to see how he gets all those yards having a heisman candidate as your quarterback always helps make your job a little bit easier as a receiver and he's tackled right away Green gets it to his tailback. He's out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Got a man. Watch out here. Brought down at the 13-yard line. Can this guy throw the ball or what? No question. You can see why this guy is considered one of the premier passers in the game. Not only does he have the tremendous arm strength that we've talked about, but he's got all the intangibles as well. We're talking about poise, confidence, and the uncanny ability to find the open man. Just a phenomenal quarterback. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. football right there getting down to the goal line and just punching it in trying to go up by three they'll kick the extra point and he adds the extra point it was a six play 71 yard drive and the result seven points the score now 10-7 everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff he really got a hold of that kick He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the 
the other team comes fighting back and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying. The Bears taking their first time out of the half. Second and five, ball on the 28. He makes the catch and has a first down. Call it a gain of 12 yards. First down. He's scrambling. They bring him down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the pass into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. He goes downtown. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Fourth and long here after the sack. Woodard is waiting for the snap. They'll bring him down at the 36. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Houston is up by three. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36. That quickly incomplete. Fires that quickly to the tailback. That's a great tackle at the 46 yard line. Baylor's out of timeout. Williams is back deep to return. Williams takes it to 25. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's taken down at the 38. That makes it second and two. And that one's incomplete. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Release tight end incomplete. I think the secondary caught a break there with that ball being overthrown to the tight end. I know he's a big fella, but he's still a playmaker, and that had big play written all over. Lee back to return it. Lee fields at the 29, tackle at the 40 yard line. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. 10-7, Cougars. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Let's not get too carried away by the stats in the first half, but... It is noteworthy. 
less than six yards per pass attempt. Now, we talk to coaches around the country. They always want those explosive plays, big chunk plays, not getting it in this game. Might be an indication there's not really that deep threat that strikes fear into the defense on the outside. The, the hardest thing for a corner is always facing a speedster, facing somebody that can stretch the field because then it makes you backpedal and really makes you, you know, take away that deep ball first and bail out of there. And then sometimes it opens up the underneath stuff where you give a cushion to a receiver. So I think the offense has to find playmakers. They got to find ways to take shots, run some different routes to find some creative ways to get some guys open because right now, the little dink and dug stuff isn't working. You're not threatening me down the field. I don't need to cover the whole field. We're bringing everybody up near the line of scrimmage and just taking away the short stuff. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the one. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Houston's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they just been so conservative so predictable it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game and they make the stop at the 29. they're going to go after this punt. It's a short kick. Lee deals it at the 38. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Houston has a three-point lead. the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and the toughness to sit in that pocket. Fires out to his wide out. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 43. Three-yard line. That brings up third and ten. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Boxes out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle at the 21. 
Houston is up a field goal. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at the 19. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Inside the 10, he catches another one. Touchdown, Cougars. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 59-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Cooper looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Slings it. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Here we go. Big opening. Makes it out to about the 46. That brings up second and nine. Gets out to around the 45. Gain of nine yards. First down. Check number six. Check number six. I'm here. Ready. Check. Ray 95. Ray 95. Steps out of bounds. Around the 43 yard line. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled at the 36 yard line. Pride brings him down at the 36 yard line. That'll make it 31. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Brought down at the 27. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Caught out of the open. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. Nelson on the tackle at the 20-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. You can't block me. You can't block me. Inside handoff. And he hits him hard at the 10. That's three down and one to go. Houston's got a 10-point lead.
right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. The draw within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Andrews gets set to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. And he has it on the corner. He's knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Houston holds a field goal lead. Caught open field. He's at midfield. And he's level at the 48. Spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. Mike 13, Mike 13. Quick throw. And he is drilled at the 41. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. get all of that one the Bears battled all game long but it's not looking so good right now well but remember they're still within striking distance here if they can put together a drive they got a shot to win this game things aren't tied but they might as well be it's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter less than three minutes in the game and he almost has the INT From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. He's under some heat. He lets it fly. Interception. And 
and they make the stop around the 42-yard line. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Fires it out. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 48-yard line. taking their first time out of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 33. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Here they come. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From the 16-yard line, second down. Stopped in his tracks. Bowling gained seven yards with a catch there. Baylor's called their final timeout. Zips it to the back. Tackle made right around the six yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. away and it's good the Cougars and their fans they're gonna have a long time before they forget the end of this game uh, this is a tough loss for them but on the other hand how about the defense on the other side coming up with a big play to be able to get this victory for them Houston lines up for the kickoff he's to the 20 he makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He chucks it downfield. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at the 14-yard line. That makes it first and ten. A touchdown would give them the lead here in the fourth, but that'll be hard to come by if this offensive line can't get it done. This is where we find out who wants it more. And he stops the clock with a spike. Here in the fourth quarter and behind, they're not going to get many more chances, and now it's third down and a mile. to his receiver. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Touchdown! Tie ball game!
They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. And he converts the extra point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. Willis has got an opportunity to win this game. This defense has got to come up with something to try to rattle him a little bit. This is going to be exciting to see if this defense could slow him down because I'll tell you right now, if they don't put pressure on him, they're going to give up a winning score and it's going to cost them the game. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. He goes downtown. Got it. Inside the 30. And down he goes around the 22-yard line. the catch. He's tackled at the 11-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 11-yard line, first down. Inside you. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. They'll go for two in this situation. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delayed game, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. And they're looking to get two points here. Scrambling around. He's got the two. the kick and they might just kick it short to prevent a long return. He'll return it from the one. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 28-21, Cougars. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.